You're welcome to the voice of intimacy. I am Pastor Paul Olashuri. The last time we were looking at the manifest presence of God. And we saw that the manifest presence of God is that presence that has God inside it. The fullness of God is inside it. There's a second presence which we call the general presence of God. And that presence is everywhere, monitoring what's going on in every place, in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm, in all realms of existence. Now, what you need to get into is the manifest presence of God. And this one is not everywhere. All right? So it's important for you to get in there because that's where you'll be able to have fellowship with God, commune with God, you know, discuss with Him, and it transforms your life, heals you, transforms you in that manifest presence. Now, what exactly is inside God's manifest presence? First of all, the atmosphere of His presence is inside the manifest presence. And the way I can describe it for you is the way the Lord put it to me. He said, if you're coming out of the, I mean, in the sun, where the weather is very hot, and then you are stepping into a supermarket that has air conditioning unit inside, or a room that has air conditioning unit inside, the moment you open the door to enter that room, the cool air hushes you in. All right? And that cool air is a sign of something. Okay? So the first thing is the cool air. The presence of God is that atmosphere that you feel when you come in into his manifest presence. That's the first thing you have in that manifest presence. The atmosphere is very beautiful. Some people feel like a warm, a warm feeling. Some people feel like a cool feeling that comes around them. Some people feel like a breeze blowing around them. It's a powerful thing to know. The second thing that you have in God's manifest presence is God himself. In fact, that should be the first thing. God himself. Now, that room that you enter that is cool, the moment you step in, that is a sign that there's an air conditioning unit in that room. The reason why you have that feeling in that manifest presence is because God himself is there. Another thing that is there is the voice of God. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 8, the Bible says, And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. So the voice of God was in that manifest presence that came into the garden. That they went to hide from the voice of god was there hallelujah and then another thing that is also inside god's manifest presence is god's potent power to change to transform to heal and to deliver and that's the presence i want to get you to get into i want to pray for you right now that that presence will come into your life and visit you from time to time that that presence you'll carry it everywhere you go in the name of jesus and if you have not accepted jesus as your lord and savior this is the right prayer for you. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died for my sins and he was raised from the dead for my salvation. I accept him now as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for everyone. Father, surround everyone watching this with a manifest presence and let them encounter you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the voice of intimacy. I'm Pastor Paul Olashuri.